good view. Okay. Raul well, Salah, yeah, we just started. Um, uh, let me make up a hypothetical problem and kind of show you how some things can go. Let's say we have compound A and B. Uh, let's say we have uh, 30 grams of this and let's say we have 50 grams of this. Okay? And let's say the molar mass of A is 15 grams per mole and the molar mass of B is 50 grams per mole. Okay? So when you're doing this kind of Raoult's problem, I encourage you always to go to moles. So moles of A would be 30 grams divided by 15 grams per mole. This would be 2 moles. And the moles of B would be uh, 50 grams divided by 50 grams per mole. And that would be 1 mole. So then, the next point usually to go when you're doing this is find the mole fractions. So XA would be the moles of A divided by the total moles, or A is 2 and the total number is 2 plus 1 or 3. So that would be just 2 thirds. I'll just leave it 2 thirds. And XB, well, you can do it two ways. You can do the moles of B over the total moles equals, that's 1 divided by 3, or 1 third. Or you could have just said the sum of XA and XB equals 1. So I would know that the sum of this better equal 1. Okay, so I have the mole fractions. Then the next common place to go would be, well, let's use Raoult's law to find the partial pressure of A above the solution. That would be XA times PA naught. Where would you get PA naught? Pure pressure of A. It has to be given unless for some weird way you're asked to solve for it. So let's go to P naughts here. Let's say this one is 10. Uh, atmospheres, that, that's ridiculous, it wouldn't be 10. 1, and then let's say this is 2 atmospheres. That's kind of ridiculous too, but that's okay. I just made it up. So, in this particular problem, XA is 2 thirds, and the PA naught is 1.0 atmospheres, which would equal 2 thirds atmosphere. For PA naught, or for PA, for PB you do the same thing. XB times PB naught. XB is one third, and PB naught, I, I just give it to you as two atmospheres. That would be totally ridiculous. Two thirds atmospheres, too big of a number. But that's okay. Then a common thing to ask you what's P total? Well, that would just be PA plus PB. That would be, in this case, two thirds plus two thirds, or four thirds atmosphere. And let me back up for a second. I'll go back a little bit. This is the mole fraction where? Above the solution or in the solution? That's the mole fraction in the solution. In the solution. So Raoult's law uses a mole fraction within the solution. Now when this is comboed, with Dalton's law, then uh, we could ask you, oh, what's the mole fraction above the solution? So you would say something like, oh, what's XA above the solution? In that case, you'd use Dalton's law. It would be PA over P total. PA is 2 thirds over P total, 4 thirds. Oh, that's just 0 0.50. And XB above the solution would be, again, Dalton's law. Be, again, two-thirds divided by four-thirds. K and B, PB happen to be equal. And so this is above the solution. So remember that when you're using mole fractions, uh, from Dalton's law, it's above the solution. From Raoult's law, it's within the solution. Any questions on that? Yeah? So are those both answers? Or extended points? These are like 
all the questions you usually ask, like what's the mole fraction in the solution? What's the partial pressure of each? What's the total pressure? What's the mole fraction above the solution? So I just kind of did it all. One, A and B are two different compounds within the solute. Or, yeah, it's like mixing A and B together, like benzene and toluene or something like that. And yes? And you can use mole fraction to equal one for Dalton's law as well? Yeah, the mole fraction, some of the mole fraction equals one works for any mole fraction, wherever it is. Yes? Uh, pictorially, and you'll see they're numerically different, right? Pictorially, uh, what that means, if you have a solution here, the mole fraction of, say, I in the solution versus the mole fraction of I in the vapor. And these are not necessarily equal. In fact, it would be extremely unlikely that these two are equal. The mole fraction of the vapor is going to be different than the mole fraction of the liquid. Say that again. Uh-huh. We do you need to solve for PB? We did in the previous part. We got it from Raoult's law. So PB and PA from Raoult's law are the same for Dalton's law, numerically. But it's not the same as the x value. Okay, let's go on.